Are you ready? Hello and welcome to a very sunny Silverstone this weekend. We're looking forward to an incredible day of racing. We've got the second round of the Radical UK Cup and the very first round of the European Masters here at Silverstone. It should be a very exciting day. I'm here with Roger Green, who's marketing manager for Radical in the UK. Roger, thanks for joining us. And we do have some very exciting news about the Masters Series, don't we? Yeah, I mean, the Masters Series is now fully FIA sanctioned. Um, it's fully affiliated with the FIA. So that means it's really grown in stature and it's really a reflection on how this championship has grown over the years. Um, and it's been seen by the FIA as one of the premier events in Europe and they want to have it as one of their um, championships in their stable. So it's great for us. It is fantastic news. And what does it mean for Radical as a whole? Well, it just puts it in front of everybody in Europe. I mean, it puts us in the premier categories of sports car racing in Europe. Um, and, and really, you know, it, it gets us out there to an even wider audience. So we're here today with a grid of over 40 cars. And, and you know, it's, it's sort of a true reflection of that. And you'll be following the entire series around Europe, I take it? Yes, that's right. So uh, from here we go out to Spa and then we're at Zambort, Paul Ricard. So it's, yeah, it's going to be a fantastic year. You've got uh, the Arthritis Foundation on your top there and on your car. Uh, can you explain to us a little bit about that? In fact, Arthritis is uh, a foundation who raises money uh, for the, um, the di um, a lot of disease, disease who lock the bones of uh, uh, the person who suffer from. And in fact, uh, I represent this uh, foundation because uh, I suffer from this kind of disease. and. Um, I, um, I take um, a treatment come from the research who have stopped this uh, disease in, uh, with me. Last year we, uh, we, um, uh, we, um, we have uh, raised uh, 750,000 50, euros for the research and our aim is uh, to, uh, to reach 1 million euro and um, every kilometre who is done with the car uh, that means that, that 10 euros is given for the research, yes, because our um, sponsor uh, came with us to, uh, to communicate and to give money to the research. So it's very important for us to go uh, at the beginning and at the end of the race, because if we are at the end of the race, we, we will uh, have done a lot of uh, kilometers, so we will give a lot of money. So Dean, the last time I spoke to you was in 2010 in Abu Dhabi. Um, can you talk to me about what you've been up to since then? Yeah, in 2010 I'd done the Radical Race in Abu Dhabi to learn the track for the F1 car. I had a great test on the F1 car in 2010 and then early January 2011 I got diagnosed with testicular cancer. Um, so I spent about 70 nights in hospital last year, four operations, and now the specialist said that I wouldn't be in a racing car for three to four years. but just after a year later, I'm back in a race car enjoying myself. That's pretty amazing and uh, congratulations on your progress as well. How is it being back racing again? Yeah, it's great. I was looking at doing F2 this year just as a learning curve, get my fitness back up to strength. But at the end of the day, I've, I've won F2. I don't want to go back there. I want to progress on. But at the minute, I'm having a, a good weekend with Phil Abbott, who owns Radical, and uh, we're having a good bit of fun. Excellent. And um, you've got the uh, Wessex Cancer Trust uh, stickers on your car, so obviously you're supporting them. Yeah, well, it's a funny story. About two months before I got diagnosed, I was the youth ambassador of Wessex Cancer Trust. And uh, that was in the November of 2010, and in January 2011 I got diagnosed with cancer. So they've been very supportive of me, and uh, I do a lot of work for their uh, charity, and I, I love being with them. I'm in a very privileged position to be able to stand here on the grid at Silverstone awaiting the first round of the Radical European Masters and the second round of the UK Cup. The cars are all revving up. We've just got a couple of minutes until they blast off. Better get off the grid.
Huge field for the Radical European Masters and Radical UK Cup this weekend as ever a rolling start and the cars off on their formation lap now being headed up by Mark Smithson and Stuart Mosley in pole position. Mark Smithson starting the car with Igor Urien alongside him on the front row of the grid. Zach Chapman, the Manhalos, the Sneston winners lock out row two with Tony Wells and James Littlejohn and Greg Hart on row three. Tony Wells starting from fifth position. Chris Hyman and Alex Mortimer rounding out the top ten massive field of the Radical SR8s and the SR3s. We should be in for some frenetic and very, very exciting action. The cars just weaving around on the formation up, getting a little bit of heat into their tyres. It's a chilly day here at Silverstone, despite the sunshine beating down on the Northamptonshire venue. And that should set us up for some exciting racing on the circuit, which always lends itself well to Radical action. Here we go, ready for the start. And away we go, it's a brilliant start from Manhalos, jinking out from fourth on the grid. And it's Alos who looks the inside into Cops Corner. He's going to take second as Mark Smithson swoops across and takes the lead for the first time. Everybody clean through Cops, accelerating on towards Magnus and Beckett's and the pace of the Radical SR8. They really are sprinting around the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. So into third place, we've got Zach Chapman, Igor Urian shuffled down to fourth from second on the grid. A spin in the midfield there. David Thornburn's gone around, that shouldn't cost him too much, just a, a spin with the race leader Mark Smithson heading the pack down towards Stowe Corner, Man Stowe in hot pursuit, then Zach Chapman, Tony Wells coming under a little bit of pressure from Greg Hart further back, Greg in the turquoise and black machine just looking to the inside of the machine, Tony Wells who runs out wide and Greg Hart almost draws alongside as they accelerate down towards the veil, are we going to see the move? into the background now, I think Tony Wells just holds on, Mark Smithson maintains his lead, trying to put a little bit of daylight between himself and Manhalals, yes Tony Wells did maintain the place as the field all stream on, massive massive pack this weekend and there really was a lot of talk in the paddock overnight about where the form would lie, well at the moment it's very much in favour of Mark Smithson by Man Halalos, he won one of the races at Sneston, was unlucky not to win the other when mechanical failure meant he started the first race of the weekend from the pit lane and that enabled Zach Chapman to take the start and go on quite comfortably. Jamie Constable exits the loop now and accelerates through entry down the Wellington straight. We're already our race leader. Smithson just snatches a break, turning into Brooklyn's very, very wide entry. So he doesn't really lose any ground there. And he and Alos already are pulling out a significant advantage over Zach Chapman, the former Toyota MR2 racer, who has been passed now by Igor Urien. So Igor Urien, there in the number 11 car, gains the place. He moves himself back up into third position. Very impressive in qualifying yesterday. Igor Urien, as Manhal Alos turns through Cops Corner. Still chasing down Mark Smithson, trying to get onto terms with Mark through the very quick direction changes now at Beckett's. And these SR8s offer a huge amount of grip to the drivers, really challenging but ultimately very, very rewarding cars to drive, extremely rapid as well. And these drivers at the top of their game to be running at the front of the Radical European Masters, so down the hangar straight once more. And still Alos trying to get onto turns with Mark Smithson through Stowe Corner again. The tyres just squealing a little bit, it is so cold here at Silverstone and it is taking them a couple of laps to just get them up to optimal temperature. Tony Wells runs a little bit wide through Stowe but Greg Hart's not going to be quite close enough to pounce. We then got James Abbott who is next up and also watch for Terence Woodward in the 88 car. He always goes well. The leaders already accelerating onto Abbey once more and this leading quartet really breaking away from the rest of the field. Zach Chapman about 15 or so car lengths clear of Tony Wells. Again, another snatch break from Mark Smithson. And this presents an opening here for Manhalals, who gets on the power and slides the rear of the car into the loop. And it shows how hard these drivers are trying. The cars look very precise in their cornering, but really these drivers are on the absolute limit, as we saw there through the new complex here on the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. They're breaking into Luffield, but never ending right hand and Igor Urien is now beginning to latch himself onto the tail of Manhal Alos so Alos in his efforts to try and get onto terms but then get past Mark Smith and is now finding himself slipping possibly into the clutches here of Igor Urien and Zach Chapman not too far away as well Chapman the dominant victor in race one at Sneston 
back in March into Beckett's again and Chapman planting his right foot really using the mechanical aerodynamic grip of these radical SR8s to negotiate the complex as quickly as possible hasn't been able to gain any time on Igor Urien we'll find out as they head down the hangar straight if anything in fact Urien's just been able to snatch a tenth or two on Chapman and then Alos in turn is once more closing up onto Taylor Mark Smith and so we move down through the gears onto the brakes into Stowe corner accelerating out of Stowe and Smithson carries so much speed through there it's a story back from the 80s when Ayrton Senna tried to take it flat he spun and said, now I know it can't be taken flat. Well, the driver's just sneaking down a gear on the brakes in these radical SR8s through Stowe. And then they turn through the veil, accelerating already out of club, past the New Pits complex, and then up towards Abbey. Plenty of battles going on through the pack. There's Peter Bamford gaining the place. Peter Bamford, a recent convert to radical racing and thoroughly enjoys his radical competition. And it was a good move there from Peter, sliding up the inside at Stowe, back to the leaders. Still Mark Smithson leads, but coming under increasing pressure from Manhalos and Igor Urien, not too far adrift in third place. So accelerating out of the loop once more, then on through Aintree. Peter Bamford still continuing his battle a little bit lower down the order. He's been able to make that move, but he's not now able to pull away from the Medjinger Calco car. Accelerating on towards Abby is Peter Bamford trying to forecast. Well, he's had the switch for the lead, and Manhalos out of our sight has snatched the lead the race away from Mark Smith. And we saw that coming a little bit. He was coming under increasing pressure, was Mark, and Manhalos has been able to squeeze through. And that shows what happens when you just drive at a really consistent pace and maintain the pressure. Now that Alice is in the lead, will he be able to pull away? Well, we're going for a break from the action here at Silverstone. Join us in a few moments' time with more action from the Radical European Masters.